Welcome everyone, John from Discover RC. Thanks for joining me. Today I have an unboxing and desktop review of a very cool new quadcopter. This is the Vortex 250 Pro from Blade and Immersion RC. This thing is fully built out of the box and ready to race. It's bind and fly basic, so you just get the quadcopter in the box, but if you have a Spectrum radio and a three or four cell 1300 milliamp pack and charger, you are ready to go. This thing has got good weight to it. It's solid, it's rigid. It seems like a very nicely built quadcopter. Two millimeter thick carbon fiber top and bottom plates, lots of standoffs, four millimeter thick carbon fiber arms. Then you have all these plastic supporting pieces around it. As you can see on the side, on the arm and underneath the motor, there will be $20 kits available for different colors. So you can change these to red, black, and I think even pink right now. Hopefully there'll be some more colors, which is good because if you're watching a quad race and all the quads are black, it's hard to tell them apart, but different colors help with some differentiation there. On the back you have a bank of eight LEDs and these are programmable so you can change the color of them. And also in the back here is a switch for your FPV channels. Here is the receiver, Spectrum FPV racing receiver. You can see the antennas are a little longer, designed for carbon fiber frames. And you have an XT60 connector. So if you have other 250 size racing quadcopters that use XT60 batteries, you're good to go right there. Also in the box is your SpiroNet antenna for your video transmitter. And then you have your props. These are five inch Gemfan blunt nose props and you get two sets, which is good because as you know, with racing quads, FPV quads, you tend to break a lot of props. We've got an extra Velcro strap there as well. The motors are 2300 kV outrunner motors and you have 20 amp ESCs, 22 amp peak with some interesting features that are designed for racing quadcopters. They have something called one shot 125 running which basically gives you a faster connection between your flight controller and your motor. So the ESC processes that information faster and you get a crisper response with the throttle. They also have what's called active braking, which basically means that when you lower the throttle on your quadcopter, the ESC is actually gonna lower the RPM on the motor. So the quad will be less floaty, give you a more crisp response. And you can see on this thing, the wiring is very clean. There's hardly any wiring to even be seen anywhere on the quadcopter. Fusion F3 flight controller running clean flight, and that's updatable via the USB, preloaded with ProTune firmware. And you can also get other ProTune uploads so you can try out different pilot setups on the quadcopter. You've got seven 32-bit processors, four for the ESCs, one for the OSD, and then also one for the LEDs and the flight controller. FPV system is a Fat Shark 700 TVL version two CMOS camera, and you can see that it's vibration dampened, and you can tilt it up as well. And then you've got this other plate on the top here, the top plate for your second camera. And in the bag here is a recliner mount for a GoPro camera and some other parts there so you can have your GoPro tilted up so when you're flying it's looking straight ahead. Very nice little feature with that. You've got a Nextway 5.8 video transmitter supporting 40 channels. So if you're flying Fat Shark or Boss Cam, you're covered. And you've also got the race band system, which supports eight quadcopters racing at once. So fully functional video transmitter. And in this really small instruction sheet, which comes with it, there is a much bigger sheet online or much bigger uh, instruction manual online. I'll put a link to it. Otherwise this was all that was in the box, which isn't very much. But in here, it does tell you that the video output is 350 milliwatts in the US. And if you're in Europe, you're gonna have a 25 milliwatt video transmitter. Quadcopter comes with an easy OSD setup, so that will give you your artificial horizon, it'll give you your battery voltage, and you have several different layouts available. It also has something called Black Box, which records your flight data, and you can play it back later on your computer, and if you are into adjusting the PIDs yourself, you can do that. So really a fully functional quadcopter racing quad, just ready to go right out of the box. Lots of cool features on it. This little bag just has your battery, anti-skid plate here, I think, and then the prop nuts. And that's about it. That's everything in the box. Okay, guys, there'll be some more videos of this thing, of course. I'm really looking forward to flying it. Very cool quadcopter. Thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, please post below, and I'll see you next time.